Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm gonna uh, do a simple example uh, on a mobile application, on an Android application, to uh, receive uh, push notifications sent from uh, a Firebase uh, cloud service. So, um, if you look at the tutorial in in this page, uh, there are some steps that uh, is suggested. Uh, you need first to, of course, uh, install um, Android Studio to develop your Android application. So you can click on this link and uh, get Android Studio and install it. The second step is to create a Firebase account. Uh, so you need to create a Firebase account and uh, then uh, you should uh, create a simple Android applications, um, Android application and do some adjustments uh, in the Android application and uh, then you can send a push notification from Firebase cloud service to your Android application. So we will um, go through this tutorial. There are some uh, tricks uh, and because this is kind of old tutorial and uh, uh, after providing you know, the, this tutorial, there are some stuff changed in the Firebase um, cloud service. Uh, and I'm gonna go through the details and uh, show you how to um, develop uh, the app and also send the push notification. Okay, so assume that you have Android Studio already installed and you have created a Firebase account. So um, let's uh, start creating a new project in, in Android Studio first. Okay, so uh, we create a new project here. We select empty activity. We don't want to do anything specific here. Uh, press next, put a name on our application. Let's say push notification app. And uh, minimum SDK API 23 is good. So uh, let's create our application. So it takes a bit of time until the application is created. Okay, uh, so this is a kind of simple hello world Android code. And uh, let's make sure that this, uh, the, the hello world one is working properly. I have uh, created um, a virtual tool uh, emulator Nexus 6P API 30 that I'm going to use for testing this app. You can use a physical device, Android device, or uh, any emulator. So we see an error here. I think, uh, yeah, tool version. We should change something here in the. Um, build Gradle module. Uh, so apparently there's some prob there are some problem with build tool version 31. So we just change it to 30 and uh, we just, you know, synchronize. Then the build is successful and we try to install it again. Okay, so this is our Hello World uh, application. It's running, um, no problem with that. So let's go to the next step, which is um, creating a project in, in uh, Firebase. So I've already created an account in Firebase and logged in. So when you come here, you need to create uh, a project. So you can create your project here, let's say uh, push notification and uh, continue here you 
uh, Google Analytics and everything, enable Google Analytics for this project, we can keep it. Then next, and here let's um, create a new account and call it push account and send uh, analytics location US is fine. And can let's create a project. So it takes a while until uh, the project is created. Okay, the project is uh, ready. Just click next. And here, when you come here, there are a couple of options that you have. You can create different, um, you know, uh, different Firebase applications. Let's uh, add one Android application here. Uh, we need to put Android package name, the one, the one that we created here. Uh, I'm gonna go here and uh, open the main activity and uh, I'm going to just copy and paste the package name here. Okay, so this is the package name that they should copy and paste it here. Um, and we can put a name on that saying that push notification app, it's not mandatory, you just uh, so you don't need to put anything here. You register your Android application here. And uh, the next step, it asks to download the Google services JSON file. You just download it and we should add it to, um, to the root directory of your application. Okay, so I'm gonna just find uh, this file and okay this is my file um, let's add it to our push notification app so I'm gonna just drag and drop it here in the app folder. It says it's indexing, let's do it again. Okay, refactor. So this is the Google services uh, JSON file that has some configuration and you know the information from Firebase, Firebase side. So we leave it there and um, let's go to the next steps. In the next steps, we need to do some adjustments in the build Gradle file in project level and in the module level. So in project level build Gradle, we should make sure that the Google is in the repository list. Let's um, have a look and see if okay, this is in the project. Yeah, this one build Gradle project. Let's open it. And you see that Google is already in the repository. If it's not, you can add it, please add it here. And um, in the dependencies, we need to add this dependency, the class path um, dependency here. Okay. So it's again in the same file, build Gradle project. Uh, and in the dependencies here, we need to paste dependency on Google services. And um, in here also in all projects, we should make sure that Google um, is added. So here we see in the repositories, we have Google, no problem with that. So let's move forward to the next step, which is um, adding some stuff to app level uh, Gradle, so app level build Gradle. So we go and open the module, which is app level um, build Gradle module. And here we need to add these two 
uh, lines basically apply and we can just get rid of these plugins we can delete it no problem so I add the first line and I add the second line as well okay and in the dependencies um, we need to import the dependencies here so first dependency uh, implementation platform so uh, let's find the dependencies here okay this is the dependency section so I just paste um, the first one and the second one and there is a, uh, another dependency that you need to import which is not mentioned here and um, so that's that's uh, the problem so the, the 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 last one is basically similar it's a bit different so we need to add the messaging uh, in, in dependency as well so I just repeat the last one and change the analytics to messaging actually we don't need the analytics one we need, we need the messaging one uh, I don't know why in the in this instruction we don't have the messaging one okay so I added the messaging so it's similar implementation come Google Firebase Firebase messaging and then we're good to basically synchronize let's synchronize our project okay so it's successful good uh, the next step we need to um, go to our firebase cloud service and continue to console so you're uh, directed to this console for your project uh, for your application and um, here basically you can see there are a couple of options here we should go to the last one engage and uh, put this cloud messaging send your first message and here it's notification title let's say uh, message from firebase okay so this is the message you want to send and uh, notification uh, image is optional so we can send a, you know a test message when we come here and want to send a test message it asks for uh, FCM registration token it asks for uh, Firebase cloud messaging registration token so we need to add a token here but what is a token a token is uh, you know uh, a, a, a token is generated in the uh, application side when we uh, you know uh, run our application and it changes if you remove your application you want to reinstall your application so we need to somehow get that token and add it here before sending message to to our application okay so um, let's go back to our application and um, there is an extra step here we need to add something to our code we should go to main activity and add a piece of code here in order to get um, our a token and that's the piece that is changed uh, uh, recently so and this in this tutorial we don't have anything about that um, and uh, there is another link there's another web page that uh, basically is about sending a text a test message to a background app and here you you can um, find so the, the, the URL is here uh, you can find the URL in the in the comment section and uh, here there is explanation how you can access the registration token and uh, basically by adding this piece of code here there's Kotlin and, and Java both I, I just copy and paste this piece in my main activity to get that token and add it to uh, uh, to the Firebase cloud service okay I just paste it 
after um, the set content view, which is basically adjusting the content of, of a user interface in our Hello World application, I just uh, paste this code. And uh, of course, we need to import some, some classes here. Uh, you can just, uh, you see the red uh, text that shows that uh, it needs some stuff. So uh, you can just import class, fix the problem. Next one, if you click, you can insert the class, this one as well. Log the tag, Let's create one and the toast for showing a message on the, uh, on the screen. Uh, we can disable it, but we can keep it to make sure that we have everything. And this is a variable that you should basically create in your string, but we don't really need it. So uh, we can just, you know, remove this section and let's say just, uh, you know, we need uh, to show the token. Okay. And, um, we can also here in the tag, instead of the tag, we can put token. It's easier than to, to find the token. Okay. So we just add the token and we should be good to, uh, to run this code and see what is the, the token. Okay. Let's run it. And we need to go to uh, Logcat here and of course select our application. So this is the token that's toasted here, you see? So we need to find it. So in order to find it, we go to what was our, so it's com example push notification app. So here uh, in the Logcat, we go com example where is that push notification app? And then I can just filter it with a token and just see, you know, the, the log, which is basically showing the token to me. So this is the token. We just um, copy and paste the token. It's a long token. Just make sure that you copy the whole thing. And then uh, we go back to our um, Firebase service here and add this token that we just copied from there and we add it here. And if it's not, uh, you know, ticked, we, we tick that and, uh, and we can send the, uh, the push notification, but we don't really need to run the app at the same time. So we can just close the app or we can keep it no problem with that. But if you install the app, it should work. Uh, let's send uh, the notification and see what happens on our application. Just sent the notification. You see here, so uh, the notification came here and it says message from Firebase. So it's a, uh, it's a successful delivery of the, of the message. If I click on this push notification, it opens the app, of course.